हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन थर्मोडायनामिक्स पार्ट सिक्स इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फियर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फियर फ्रॉम एग्जाम बिफोर वॉचिंग द वीडियो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव वॉच पार्ट वन टू पार्ट फाइव प्रोसेस विल बी डिस्कसिंग नाउ सो वट इज अ थर्मोडायनामिक प्रोसेस इन यू ऑपरेशन दैट ब्रिंग्स चेंज इन द सिस्टम इन यू ऑपरेशन दैट ब्रिंग्स चेंज इन द सिस्टम इन द स्टेट ऑफ सिस्टम इज कॉल थर्मोडायनामिक प्रोसेस एंड वी हैव वेरियस टाइप ऑफ थर्मोडाइन process the first is the isothermal process where the temperature is constant we have a process carried out where we change the state of the system but still maintain the temperature that is isothermal process then we have something called adiabatic process we have used this term and called a uh, different kind of wall called adiabatic wall wall where uh, there is no transfer of heat between the system and surrounding the so adiabatic process is the process which is carried where there is no heat exchange with surrounding there is no heat exchange with surrounding that process is called adiabatic process then we have something called isobaric process where we have constant pressure bar is pressure right thermal is temperature so isobaric where we maintain constant pressure in the whole reaction that is isobaric process isochoric process that is we maintain constant volume process where we maintain constant volume is called isochoric process so these are the various process we have thermodynamic process so please uh, let me repeat thermodynamic process is nothing but a process or operation where we change the state of the system and we can uh, we have different type of process isothermal where we maintain the same temperature the whole reaction adiabatic where we don't uh, we uh, we don't transfer any heat between the system and surrounding we totally isolate the a system where the reaction is taking place isobaric pressure process where we maintain the same pressure and isochoric process where we maintain the same volume let's discuss the cyclic process what is the cyclic process when a system returns to its original state after doing some uh, uh, after a lot of uh, operations then it is called cyclic process something like this it start with one it went to step 2 3 4 and came up to one such kind of process where the system returns to original state after completing a set of changes it is called a cyclic process a good example is a carnot cycle which you would have learned in physics so you can watch a physics video on thermodynamics to know more about carnot cycle where you start with a, a let's suppose step one do some process and come back to step one uh, the state one so cycling process is the process you start with the state and you uh, complete a lot of changes and steps and come back in the same position now let's talk about the reversible and irreversible process in thermodynamics we have something called reversible and irreversible process as the name suggest process which can be reversed is called reversible process And the process which cannot be reversed is the irreversible process. Correct. That means process which can be reversed any time, at any point in time you want to reverse it, you can do that. That is a reversible process. And the place where you can't reverse is a irreversible process. For example, you burn the wood. You have this wood. You burn this. You get carbon dioxide plus heat. You can't reverse this. You can't reverse. You can't uh, create wood again from carbon dioxide and heat. And almost, I'll tell you, ninety-nine point nine percent of natural process is, in fact, all the natural process is an irreversible process. You can't reverse it. Reversible process is a very new concept which is done only in the labs and that too with a with a lot of precautions. And it is done in a very small, small change is done, and at each step the uh, process is in equilibrium. So if you see. the reverse process is a very slow process and it, it, this is not a natural process it is done only in the lab with a lot of care and at every step my uh, system and the surroundings are equilibrium that is my in uh, so that's my reversible process so if you see in this case uh, i have the setup if i put more mass here what will happen it will squeeze right if you put less mass It expand. Is this a reversible process? Yes. Condition is, 
it is always in equilibrium that means this is always in equilibrium and every time what you do is if you want to reach from here to here you need to uh, you use a very small quantity maybe a uh, uh, small this much big one maybe gram you would use one gram it will become a little bigger you would use one more gram become a little bigger you keep doing this maybe in, in a lakh steps it will come back to the state and if you see every state it is in equilibrium that is a reversible process a good example example in this case every every step you know you remove one gram of let's suppose of uh, uh, iron from here so every every step this will become little little uh, bigger the gas will expand little bigger and then uh, it will be in the state and then from here if you want to go you add one gram you add one gram you keep adding one gram each then if you see every step it will be in a, a equilibrium and it will come back some form so the crux here is for the reversible process it is not natural and it has to be done very slowly in every step my uh, system will be equilibrium with the surrounding with my surrounding system has to be in equilibrium so immediately if you remove this whole mass and it expands that is not a reversible process it has to be very slow and every step it will be in equilibrium and as i told the process which is not reversible is a reversible process and all the natural processes are irreversible. For example, if you see the burning of wood, it's an irreversible process. If you have got carbon dioxide and heat, you can't uh, get the wood back from this. It's an irreversible process. So let me uh, differentiate the reversible and irreversible one second in tabular form. The reversible follows a reversible path. That means you can put it back to the old state. Uh, the irreversible it is irreversible path can't take it back it is it takes infinite time because you have moved very very slowly the reversible has to be done very slowly it takes infinite time and this takes finite time immediately you can burn immediately you can burn the wood immediately you can uh, uh, in the last example we saw we can remove that uh, mass and it will expand it takes finite time reversible process actually is an imaginary process it doesn't exist in real Right, a process close to reversible can be formed in lab with extra experiment, but the total real process, real reversible is totally imaginary process. And the irreversible, the irreversible process, the natural process, you burn something, it's a irreversible process. In case of reversible process, the system is always in equilibrium with the surrounding. In case of irreversible process, the equilibrium exists, but only at the start and at the end. During the whole process, the system is not in equilibrium with the surrounding. In case of reversible process, the work component is maximum. In case of irreversible process, the work component is not maximum. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.